Hey what is up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the panel assembly for my custom small form factor case. So things have been taking a little bit longer than I thought they would, but it's coming along. I started the panels by getting my 22 gauge sheet cut into four different pieces for my panel sizes and marked up the sheets with a pin. To cut the sheet metal I used my offset tin snips or aviation snips and I also used the regular straight cup snips. This took a lot more effort than I thought it would. It took a lot of more grip strength and energy out of me but I think it worked out well. So then I brought these sheets onto my workbench and I started drilling holes where I would need to have subtractions in my sheet. And this was also a lot more labor intensive than I thought it would be. So I had to take more breaks in between and it took a little more time to get done. The edges of the sheet metal are really sharp so as I was working with this, I kept my gloves on. I used a combination of a coping saw and a hacksaw to cut my way through these sections, using these holes to slot the blade into. I'm gonna be uploading a more detailed explanation of my experience in cutting the sheet metal with just a coping saw and a hacksaw. Uh, it's gonna be up this Tuesday, so if you're interested, then feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified when it comes out. To make the bend, I originally thought that it would be as simple and easy as just taking a hinge and using a flat surface and just bending it. I stole one of the hinges from the, a door in my house and I tried doing that but unfortunately it's not that simple and it totally did not work. I don't have a metal brake so I decided to make one. Actually at the time of filming this video I don't actually have those edges bent. I started bending some of the edges using just my pliers and using sheer force to bend it over an edge but that didn't work super well so I'm still looking at options. Anyway since this is a video let's just cut to when I actually have everything done and put together. So I think this project is going to take about another two weeks or so before I'm actually ready to finish the project. But I hope you're enjoying the process of it because I think in the end that's what this is really all about. It's just the process of making. So that concludes this video. Next week hopefully I'll have all my pieces bent and painted. So I'll have my final cage and box finished for my PC case and I'll just be moving on to the computer components then. And if you're interested in how my project progresses, feel free to follow me on my Instagram at Kyle underscore makes and you can catch up with me there. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.